Hey, welcome back. Um, if you've seen my other video um, on how to dye your beard, you'll know that about three weeks ago, uh, from obviously from recording this video, um, I dyed my beard, mostly my mustache and my underlip, to uh, make them more visible um, because the mustache and my underlip are usually very blonde and in certain lighting, which this, this is a little different lighting than what uh, I usually record in, in certain lighting it appears practically invisible. If you go and watch most of my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, you know, with direct lighting onto my face, you'll see my cheeks and my, you know, chin hair and all that stuff. My mustache, underlip will, will basically not even look like they're there at all. But, uh, so yeah, I dyed, you know, my mustache and my underlip mostly to kind of help make it look, you know, darker and thicker or make it, not necessarily make it look darker and thicker, but just to make it more visible so that, you know, it didn't look like I just shaved my mustache, my underlip off completely. But, um, I get a lot of people asking me all the time, you know, how it's holding up, you know, how, if it still looks good or whatever. And, uh, I just wanted to make this video to update that and let you guys know basically how long to expect the uh, beard dye to, to remain on your face. So, um, after two weeks, of dyeing it, I noticed that it had faded pretty badly. Um, it was still, you know, it was still there. You could still see that it was darker than what it normally looked like, but it had definitely faded quite a bit. Now, a week after that, this is three weeks um, since dyeing my beard, and I think I, I think it's safe to say that it's pretty much completely faded to this point. I think it's back to its original color, how it was before I dyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a picture of before I dyed it, a picture of when it was dyed, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a picture up of uh, how it looks now, so you can compare all three of those and give you a good idea of uh, you know the differences. So, obviously my experience is a little bit different than anybody who might be dyeing their beard normally, since I use um, a product on my face that contains high amounts of alcohol, and the alcohol definitely has a uh, big part in, you know, fading that dye out pretty quickly. So if you, like me, are using an alcohol-based product on your beard, uh, you will likely notice uh, that it fades pretty quickly. Just a matter of a couple of weeks, really. But uh, if you're not, it might last a little bit longer. Probably not a whole lot longer, honestly. Maybe like a month. I'm not sure, because I haven't done it myself personally. I can just assume, uh, based off of uh, reason and logic, that it would last longer, but probably not too much longer. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, you know, if you decide to dye your beard, um, expect to have to re-dye it at least within the next month or so, um, especially if you're, like I said, applying an alcohol-based product to your face. Um, fortunately for me, um, the dye, you know, since I only really need to dye my mustache, my underlip, and a little bit on the cheeks just to kind of help blend it in a little bit. Um, I didn't use much dye, so I still have plenty left, which means I could probably continue to re-dye it a few more times before I need to go and buy more dye. So uh, yeah, that's it for this episode, uh, this video, sorry. And uh, hopefully you found this to be informative and helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you later.